Tak til dig. Please, please sit down. Your Excellency, Ahmed Davutulu, Madam Sare Davutulu, Senate President Franklin Delon, Speaker Feliciano Belmonte, Distinguished Members of the Turkish Delegation, Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Secretary Teresita Quintos Dennis, and Members of the Philippine Cabinet present, Ambassador Ezra Jean Corur. Ambassador Maria Rubena Sanchez, uh, my younger sister, sometimes. <laughs> Our guest, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Always younger than brother. As you grow older, they get younger. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Mr. Prime Minister, Turkey is a nation that has always been at the crossroads of history, in large part because of your country's unique geographical location, one that rests within the Fertile Crescent, the birthplace of many civilizations. Yours is a nation that bridges Europe and Asia, the East and the West, the past and the present. From the rise of the legendary city of Troy to becoming one of the ancient capitals of both the Christian and Muslim worlds, worlds under the Byzantine and Ottoman empires respectively, from being the battleground of the Gallipoli campaign during the First World War, which paved the way for the Turkish War of Independence under the leadership of your nation's founding father, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk up until the transformation of your country into a global center of trade and cultural diversity. Turkey indeed has been a focal point of the imagination and attention of the world. This is especially true today, as Turkey once more faces the difficult challenge of addressing the threat of ISIS in the battle town of Kobani in Syria, which borders your country. It is a threat that has brought great conflict to that nation and to many other nations beyond that vital region. The various pressures presented by extremism seek to test the resolve of Turkey, a nation that has stood witness to many great battles in history. And I believe the government and people of Turkey, under your able leadership and that of President Erdogan, will continue to demonstrate the vibrant resilience that embodies Turkish civilization. Mr. Prime Minister, Turkey has stood by us in helping usher in a new era of peace and stability for our countrymen in the Banks of Oro. This was demonstrated in 1996 when the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, to which Turkey is a member, <coughs> led support for the government of the Philippines and the left peace process. Turkey's regard for our countrymen is likewise seen in your present endeavors as a member of the International Contact Group and of the independent decommissioning body in our talks with the MILF. Just as our people have partnered with us in advancing a just and lasting peace in Pindanao, allow me to say that it is my nation's hope that we will be able to help Turkey as it confronts the persisting and emerging challenges of our time, such as the threat of ISIS. Rest assured, you will find a partner in the Filipino. Mr. Prime Minister, it is upon this kind of solidarity that our two democratic nations, together with our partners in the international community, will work further towards building a future founded on peace, stability, and inclusiveness, not only for our peoples, but also for the rest of the world. On this note, allow me to wish Your Excellency the strength, health, and continued success as you work to lead your people on the straight path to advancement. Thank you and good day. Mr. President, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is great honor for me to be in Manila, the first ever uh, visit of a Turkish Prime Minister to the Philippines. Uh, that's a new start, but we have historic ties, and our geography is complementary to each other. We are, have strategic locations in different parts of the world, and our cooperation will be helping not only to our nations, but also to the uh, stability, peace, uh, and prosperity of our respective regions. We are at the eastern western part uh, edge of uh, Asia, you are in the eastern part. And in fact, Turkish Filipino, Philippines relations is connecting of two sides of Asia. Uh, personally, uh, this visit is important for me because this is my first visit as prime minister of, uh, to a country after I became prime minister. We have symbolic visits to Azer Azerbaijan and Tur uh, no, no, Rep Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. This is the uh, the third, but in, uh, beyond this symbolism, 
the first visit in bilateral sense. Also, uh, personally, since I stayed in Malaysia five years in early 1990s, I visited uh, Philippines in 1993 as well as in 1983 when I was an MA student. And later I came after I became chief advisor as well. So we expect you, Mr. President, to come to Turkey because I understand there was no, uh, you didn't have opportunity to come. And personally, I am an admirer of the great leader of Jose Rizal uh, as a great intellectual, a man of literature, and a revolutionary who, with his spirit, with his writings, poems, novels, as well as with his activity, became the hero not only of Philippines, but all of the nations who tried to create a national consciousness. He is a pioneer of many other leaders, like Gandhi, like Atatürk, in that sense. And as an intellectual, now later who uh, became a politician, he is my role model that uh, the, to connect and combine intellectual and political aspects of life and dignity of humanity. Uh, therefore, we, personally, I am an admirer of the uh, rich historical legacy of Philippines and for the future of our relations. I am sure after this visit, we will be having a new era, a strategic cooperation. We had excellent relations. This is the 65th anniversary of our diplomatic relations. But now it is time to, have, to make a paradigmatic shift uh, in our relations from good relations to strategic cooperation. So my visit had such a real substance and also we are following very closely your peace process in Bank Somoro and we fully support this is a very wise visionary approach to integrate all the country for the same objective of the peace and stability and prosperity of the nation. Every nation has challenges but there are only few nations who try to solve this type of problems with their initiatives and Turkey will be always at your disposal in this uh, very important initiative. We are very proud that you invited us to, uh, to be part of this process and uh, in the commission, as well as now the chairman of uh, independent decommissioning board, IDB, is a Turkish diplomat, very experienced Turkish diplomat, and I instructed him to stay in the Philippines and even become citizen of Philippines if needed. <laughs> Uh, and don't come back to Turkey until you, <laughs> you finish this job. <laughs> because stability of Philippines is stability of Turkey. And uh, good relations of different religious groups, different ethnic groups. We, has, we are observing every day in, uh, around Turkey how ethnic and religious differences creating massacres, bad events, in the countries, like in Syria today, as you rightly mentioned, a brutal regime killing their people, as well as terrorist groups like ISIS, killing in a very brutal manner the other human beings. Whenever there is no wise leadership in a country, there is always a risk facing all type of uh, uh, challenges and bad <laughs> memories. Uh, your wise leadership in Philippines and uh, in the region in ASEAN, it created a zone of prosperity, a zone of stability. And Turkey, not only with Philippines, and Philippines for us is a strategic uh, friend uh, and ally here, but we are also developing our relations with all ASEAN countries. Uh, we have opened embassies in all ASEAN. One of the first embassies was in Philippines. But now we have opened everywhere. Now the only country missing is Laos. We will be opening in Laos next year, latest. So uh, with this approach, we want to have more air connection, uh, more people-to-people -people contact. And we are also very proud, I remember, when you had a typhoon last year. I was overseas somewhere in, in a meeting. I called uh, Prime Minister then. Erdogan and also Deputy Prime Minister, we sent one of the first airplane coming to Philippines was maybe not one, uh, the first airplane coming here uh, with uh, our Deputy Prime Minister was Turkish airplane because we suffered a lot because of earthquake in 1990. We understand what means natural disaster. We understand what means political 
instability in our neighborhood. Therefore, we immediately acted, and this is just a, an example of our close friendship. We will be always with you whenever we hope there will be no other natural disaster or any political uh, this, uh, I mean, uh, problem or risks, neither in Turkey nor in Philippines. But I can assure you, Mr. President, whenever you have any need of assistance, Turkey, despite of the geographical distance, will be the first one to come here and to be with you shoulder to shoulder to face any challenge. This is the assurance of uh, us in the name of Turkish nation, uh, our president, and all the uh, government agencies. Uh, this good start, uh, we, I am sure, will continue. Uh, and whenever uh, I also remember uh, when around 500 uh, citizens of Philippines, when they were needed to evacuate it from Libya, we sent uh, plane to Libya and brought. And whenever any Filipino, Philippine citizen needs anywhere any assistance, please don't hesitate to call us. We will be at your disposal. Uh, with this uh, new start, I hope our uh, relations will be a strategic relations in the future. More people to people, government to government contact, and more mutual high-level visits. Uh, the rising star of Philippines, of, of East Asia, Philippines, and rising star of West Asia and Europe, Turkey, will be hand in hand. Uh, you have shown a great success in economics, 7-8% growth in last years, and Turkey had the same experience for, despite of global crisis in last 10 years. This cooperation will bring uh, to our nations peace and prosperity and uh, friendship uh, in general. Thank you very much for the hospitality, and I hope to see you soon in Turkey. <laughs> yes,